Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple validation rule. Validation rules are used to make sure that end users enter valid data, hence the name validation rule. What we're going to do today is effectively require the user to enter an account number when they enter an account site. Now this video is designed for beginning administrators or people who are interested in becoming Salesforce administrators. So let's get started. Now at the moment, if I type in an account site, I can save this record. What we want to happen is we want to get an error message that states that the account number is not filled in. So what we do is we'll go to Setup, Customize, which is where all standard objects are held, Accounts, Validation Rules. Choose New, and we'll give it a name, Account Number Required with Site. And we don't have to have a description, but I would recommend putting in who requested the change, when the change was requested, and why it was requested. Um, this will help you in the long term to keep up with why certain things are in place. So let's insert. Let me show you this wizard really quickly. So this is where we actually insert our condition uh, that we want an error message to appear for. So our condition is we want the account site when the account site is not equal to blank and the account number is equal to blank, we want there to be an error. So when the account site is not equal to blank, that means there's something in it, and the account number is equal to blank, the error message fires. So effectively, you want this criteria to evaluate to true. When it is true, the error condition will fire. And for our error message, we'll say account number required when account site is filled. And you can choose to put this at the top of the page or at filled level, and we'll go ahead and put it beside account number so that they are directed directly to the field that is the problem. So let's save this. Let's go back to our account and test to see if it's working. So what we'll do is we'll come back in and as you see, the record was still saved. A validation rule does not fire on historic data. It only fires when a record is attempted to be saved again. This goes for data loads and manual changes as well. So as you see now, account number required when account site is filled. Now, I would like to show you another way that we can validate our data. I should say another way we can write our validation rule. And I'll just go ahead and get to it from here. There are a few different ways we can write the validation rule. And it's not particularly important for this situation, but it may be important in other formulas you may be attempting to write. So what we can say, we have, we have some choices off to the right over here. These are our functions. So a function that I like to use is is blank. That's perfect for what we're doing here. So we could say is blank account number in place of what we have here, account number equals blank. That's the exact same thing, but it's a little bit easier to write it that way. So this would work just the same, site number not equal to blank, 
and is blank account number. <clears throat> so there's a lot of ways we can use these. Um, there are a lot of different situationals. So if you ever are looking for a shortcut or maybe a way that uh, you can write a statement and you're not sure how to do it, make sure to go through these functions and see if what you're looking for might be in there. Uh, also, you can choose the help on this function link and, it, and you can choose a function, then get help on the function and it will show you how it's used uh, and some scenarios where you might wanna use it. Uh, I hope this helped some of you guys get started uh, with validation rules. If you have any questions, please comment. Uh, and if I've stated anything that's incorrect or, or not quite right, please feel free to comment as well. Um, and if, if you want to check out some of my other videos, feel free to do that also. Thanks for watching.